Episode 2, let's do it. Please, let me do the dishes. That's the least I can do. I'm crashing here. Crashers clean dishes. Your family. Besides, if they're not clean the right way, David becomes a big baby about it all. I'm a pro at this point. I might as well help out. No, no, no. I insist. Grab this sponge and you're going to be eating it too. It's not a big deal. I've got it. Now, I know you don't mind, but I, I won't be here for too long. Just, you know, gotta get back on my feet a little. You're right. I don't mind. But David does. Is that it? Maybe a little bit. No, actually, forget I said that. Uh, that wasn't for me to... Just forget it. Sorry. He's always talking about how I'm never around, and then when I'm actually here, he acts like he doesn't know me. It's complicated. But look, he loves you. You're his brother. He's got an odd way of showing it. So where do you think you'll go? Don't know. With what happened, I'd be amazed if I could get a job assistant coaching T-ball. You'll land on your feet. Well, here's hoping. I could use a fresh start. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just travel around, you know, see what's out there. Want to take me with you? Whoa, hold on there, lady. Well? What do you mean, can I take you with me? Well, what about David? <laughs> what about David? Kate. I know, I know. I'm just messing around. It's just hard to say no to a fresh start. I always wanted to go to Norway. See the northern lights. Uh, you'll be jet-setting, and I'll still just be here. <laughs> oh, god damn it! Oh, Ooh, shit, quick, shit, run shit, underwater. shit, shit! Well, that was David's army glass. Oh, he's gonna be so pissy about it. I can hear him already. Oh, it's so annoying. So why did you marry him then? Just blame me. Well, he'll buy it. I'm the idiot fuck-up, right? That's true. Exactly. There you go. See? Much better. What was that noise? Ooh, she's aggressive. Look at that. Wow. Guys! If she wants my hand to beat her, why not let it fly? Hello? My CEO gave me that. And unless you want to dig up his fucking corpse, he's not going to give me another well, why one. Why don't we get an actual dishwasher? Oh, here we go again. Then you won't be on my ass anytime there's a spot on a fork. Excuse me? If we could even afford a dishwasher. It is just a glass. It was important to me, Javi. A glass? We don't see your ass for a year. A year. Then when your life goes to shit, we're expected to drop everything and roll out the red carpet. All for Prince Javi. And now you're gonna start telling me how to talk to my wife? This isn't about him. Really? He's the one standing right there judging me for something he doesn't understand. You don't know him like I do. Always judging everyone, except himself. You know what, David? Time for you to open your eyes. Kate's gonna leave your ass. What? She told Honey! me so. You said that? Jesus fucking Christ, no! We were talking about traveling and I just... No, I definitely didn't say that. At all. Three days. Then I want you off my couch and out the door. We clear? Fine. Hold on, I didn't think I'd say that. Javi, that is my husband. We are married. In case you forgot. That's for life. Why is she mad when she was doing all that? I mean... <laughs> Women. <coughs> hey, hey, take it easy. What happened? They got away. Oh God, Mariana. Look at the reality. We come back from a dream 
we come back from reminiscing to this. Terrible. I already dug a grave for her. Thank you. She definitely deserved better. That was a brutal death. You deserve so much better than this. I fuck, it wasn't supposed to go like this. Javi, thank you for staying. I think you probably saved my life. I've got to stick with the family. I should have gone with them. No, we fought. We slowed them down. And now they'll come back for us, right? I... I don't know. Maybe. Hey, hang on a sec. She carried this around for years. I'm sorry I never found you those candy bars. You deserved just so much more life. You should have been the one burying me. Except someday. Someday far away. You did everything you possibly... It's just one zombie, I think. Not a big deal. I only hear one. It is. It's one of them. One that we killed. Finish the deal. We're gonna shoot? Really? We're gonna waste a bullet? We could have just knifed him. I guess that's the rage. Uh-oh, what's that? The other guys had this too. Oh, shit. What? Well, what's wrong? Clem? I've run into these guys before. Who are they? Please? They call themselves the New Frontier. They used to be decent people. Now they're something else. This brand they have. It's like an initiation thing. I was kind of stuck in their camp for a while. Not by choice. It was bad. I'm lucky to be alive. What kind of crazy stories does she have about this? What do you mean, stuck? Were you a prisoner? I got out. That's all that matters. They left one of their cars behind. That's something at least. Good. Just like you always wanted. I can take you back to Prescott. Make sure your family's okay. 
But then I'm hitting the road. How come she doesn't want to stay around? She wants to be by herself after all this? You should stay with us. Let's just get back to Prescott. You're back. My family. Did Eleanor get them here okay? She did. Though, okay isn't the word I'd use to describe them. Eleanor's been doing what she can. You'd best get over to the infirmary. He made it back. She asked for you. You know. Give me the update. I want to know what's what's going on here. Please, please just tell me how she's doing. Well, she came through the surgery as well as could be expected. Those bastards did her one favor at least. Any lower, and that bullet would have torn her stomach lining as well. Your boy Gabe. He seems really fierce. He wanted to help so badly. He practically forced me to let him stay. That's Gabe. But she was bleeding so much, he... got overwhelmed. So when's she gonna be up on her feet again? She's stable. For now. But she's still bleeding inside. I don't want to lie to you. It's probably just a matter of time. I... I wish I could do more. So you're just giving up? Not at all. I'm just saying, there's nothing else I can do right now. I'm sorry, Javi. I'm going to get cleaned up. You may want to find Gabe. He looked pretty upset when he left. This isn't going to make him feel any better. Still. I'll track him down. How's she doing? Not great. As well as can be expected. Yeah, considering. If you'd waited for me instead of sneaking off the way you did, I could have helped. Would have been useful in the fight, at least. Not that you had any way of knowing those assholes were gonna show up. You being there wouldn't have made a difference. Maybe not. Hard to judge, considering I was cooling my heels back here at the time. It's a hell of a situation. Just know I'm praying for you. All of you. And whatever happens, you all are welcome to stick around in Prescott, if that's what you want. Nobody's gonna force you, but we'd be glad to have you all here. Not gonna make a decision like that without talking to Kate, so... I'd rather check in with her when she's feeling better, you know? Sure thing. Let the lady weigh in first. I guess when you think about it, me just being a savage, if she dies, I get to upgrade to Eleanor. That's not a bad upgrade, right? That's that's actually pretty cool, but I mean, hey, I am being a savage here. Flew in a plane just like this to a baseball game in Arkansas once. Lifetime ago. And what's hiding back here? Why are they showing me? What is that? Oh, it's a water bottle. Can I take that water bottle? It should come in hand. There's three of them. Make it splash, baby. Take all three. Put them in your back pocket. Three is better than one. Ah, he's not greedy. Look at that. He took one. Come on, cuh. <laughs> Doesn't look super sturdy. This place does look flimsy. I mean, it has walls, but... Good enough for walkers, not for people. Hey, have you seen a kid come through here? Blood all over his hands. Dark look on his face. Hit it off that way, without saying a word. If I were you, I'd give him some space. Just my advice, one parent to another. 
This guy's cold-blooded, isn't he? Wish I could, but uh, I don't think I can. Okay. But he sure didn't seem like he was in the mood to talk. That blood, I take it that wasn't his? His stepmom's. You gotta stay strong for her. Do whatever it takes. Know if my friends seen one in the same situation, I'd fight like hell. Anything we can do to help you out, just let me know. I, uh, appreciate that. Your boy stomped off towards the front gate. Gabe? Gabe, come on. Look at me. I want to go back and bury Mariana. We buried her. It was... peaceful. How could it have been peaceful? This kid is a wimp, isn't he? Man. I know how much you miss her, Gabe. I miss her too. And Kate, she needed me during her surgery. She needed my help. I just ran away like a stupid little kid. We're gonna have to lie to this kid. He is unstable. If I'd been there, I probably would have run too. Especially after watching what Mariana went through. I don't blame you for not being able to handle it. Shouldn't have run. No matter how hard it was being there. I'm done feeling this way. Feeling powerless. I can't be some helpless little boy anymore. I need to be a man. Just like my dad was. He knew how men were supposed to act. One more lie should do it. You're already a man, Gabe. I'm not. But at least I know it now. Next time, I'm not gonna sit back and watch. I'm gonna do something. I have to. Listen, Gabe. Get inside! Now! The next episode will come out when this video hits 10,000 likes. Thanks. Whoa! Sorry! That's a murder! Oh my god!